Hello, Tesla guy here. I always thought that we were an all Tesla family because we have these two fantastic cars, a Model 3 and a Model S, and we have no gas cars. But now I can truly say that we are an all Tesla family because we have Tesla Solar. This is uh, System 1. It's the smallest system you can get. It is really our intention was to uh, compensate for our cars. So they will produce about 18,000 miles just for the Model 3 or 15,000 for the Model S. We have very, very low utility rates here, 8.16 cents a kilowatt, which is almost the price of China. It's the third lowest, I believe, in the country. And um, it's gonna probably take 16 years to pay this off based on that. Also, we don't have much sun, uh, but that's okay. Uh, this is facing the street, which is unusual. Uh, it makes a statement. There's 106 homes in our Homeowners Association. We are the only one with solar um, and we are proud of it. It is a beautiful installation. It has um, this beveled edge. It's very low profile. Uh, it's 12 panels and um, the conduit comes up through the attic and you can't see anything. It's just like almost like having a framed picture on your roof. It's quite beautiful actually. We've had a lot of comments. So very proud of it, very happy with it. Um, we also have a Founder Series power wall that I got through referrals, and thank you all who gave me referrals for that. Uh, and uh, it's red. It almost matches my car. It's a signature red, I believe, and this is a multi-coat red, this uh, Model uh, S. So um, it's there and it's doing its job. I'm gonna try to explain a little bit about how this works because they had to do some things having only a single power wall. Uh, and not sometimes you can have multiple power walls and it'll back up your whole house. This is only backing up a small portion of it and I have a nice series of uh, geese in the background. Very nice. They, they did a flyover just for this. It's fantastic. It's, it was very hard to arrange. So um, yeah, there they go. There's more coming. Okay. And as you can see, there's, there's very little sun right now, but that's okay. Um, so I haven't done a video in a while. This, there's been some family things that, uh, very sad stuff that I've been dealing with. And I appreciate all the new subscribers that came on, even though I haven't done a video in a while. All this has been going on. Um, we've had this system for a couple months now, so I can provide some videos with uh, some of the screenshots of what's going on. So next you'll see a little bit of the interior portion, and then you'll also uh, get a chance to see some of the footage from the actual installation, which was pretty exciting. Uh, these guys did this whole thing in a single day uh, Jerry, who I believe was the team leader on this, uh, they were like an army, a precision army. They knew exactly what to do. They were just fantastic, worked safe, great. I, I couldn't have been happier with what they did. In fact, I couldn't have expected anything to be as fantastic as it was. So I am just thrilled with the installation. I'm thrilled with everything about it. Okay, so now we're in my garage where the main portion of the installation is. You can see um, that's the uh, Founder Series power wall right there. Uh, over here is what they call the gateway. It handles, I believe, all the communication that goes back and forth uh, between the power wall and the solar and um, uh, back to the app as well. There's also another little tiny gateway that if you don't have a power wall, you have to have that too. It sends information back to Tesla. It's a, just a little black box about that big that hooks to your router. Um, this little thing here, um, they call a gutter. And this is where they dealt with all of the, the wiring that's going back and forth uh, through the panels and so forth. Right here is the conduit that goes up into my attic um, and goes to the, the solar panels. Um, this is uh, the backup uh, uh, panel. Let me open this up here, come in a little closer. Um, so what they did was, I, had, I actually had two main panels, both 200 uh, amps. And what they did was they moved those from both of those panels through this gateway, I mean a gateway, through this, through this uh, gutter into here. And these are the ones that I selected. If you only have one power wall, you can't back up anything over 30 amps. Um, I didn't even back up anything that was 30 amps. So if you have two power walls, apparently you can do 60, 3, 90. And if you have four, pretty much you can back up everything. And then it's a little simpler. It's actually more expensive to do a single power wall 
for the total thing than it is for multiple power walls because there's less of this moving of, of breakers. So I went to a lot of trouble to label these things really accurately. I went through a whole process here and I have a list of everything. It's kind of nice. I was never this organized. I recommend anybody doing this know exactly what every breaker does before you start, especially because you're going to have to pick the ones you want. So again, this is the backup panel. Um, these are my original panels. Let's move in here a little closer. And you can see I've taken the time to kind of label everything as well as put quite a few labels here that I picked up on eBay. I'll leave some links on how, where I found them with the logos and the battery and all that because they could just come gray normally. Um, any place that they pulled the uh, breaker and moved it here, they left the old breaker disconnected and it just says spare on here. So that's what you're going to end up with. Um, so that's that. This has really nothing in it that opens. It's all just stuff in there dealing, as I understand it, when the power fails, uh, somehow there's a magic harmonic or something that comes through from uh, the grid that warns the system it's about to go down. And that's how it can avoid actually having any of a hiccup, hiccups or uh, there doesn't seem to be any kind of blip with lights or anything. If I shut the mains down here where there's no power coming from the grid, uh, the power wall just takes over for everything that's in here, refrigerators, it's pretty fantastic. Um, again, very happy with this installation. And uh, I'll just give you another look at what's going on outside uh, with the, the, the meters and so forth. Because they also have the actual unit that is connected to the solar panels that converts the DC to AC and sends it back down the grid or, or whatever. And another thing I should mention is, the power wall can only, at least, it might be depending on the location that you're in, but here, it cannot be backed up unless it's an absolute emergency when it's in something called Stormwatch. Uh, I, and I may not be right about that either, but it only actually powers itself from the grid. I mean, from the, from the grid, from the, uh, the solar system. So during the day, the solar system will help to uh, reduce the amount coming in from the grid, but it will also uh, load this up. I have it set to be an 80% because we have what's called net metering, which means anything we put back on the grid is exactly the same price as what we take it from. So the grid can really be a, the equivalent of a storage system. So we're not like having time of use situations where it might pay to store the power during the day and then use it at night so that we can make the differential and the costs. Um, so, and I also put these little, this is just basically like a shelf liner material I put on here strictly just to kind of protect it because that way I can use it as shelves and so forth. So that's the basic system uh, and how it works a little bit. And I will just show you what we have outside. So now here's what was installed on the outside of the house. Uh, this is where the, the main power comes into my house. Or it's, so this is the, the grid basically. This little pipe here, I believe, yeah, this is, is coming from the solar panels. The pipe I showed you on the inside, it goes in and then up into my attic. Uh, again, they did a beautiful job of installing stuff. It's almost, you know, like it was here all the time. This is a, an emergency shutoff for the, uh, the solar system, and it's nicely labeled. Uh, this meter here was put in by the power company. It measures the solar output, as it says right here. Um, this is the, what they call the inverter, and the, this is the solar edge HD wave, which controls all the solar stuff from from at least Tesla's point of view, I guess. So it's it's converting from DC to AC and so forth. And it's got some information that would be on here as well. And then um, the way this was explained to me is on the meters, it actually shows you, if you can come up this way, we'll take a look and you'll see, uh, we'll look closely at this display if you can get to it. Um, it it at some point is showing you the direction of flow that we're receiving and deliver, you know, what we deliver, what we receive and all that. So it's, it's a, a special meter also. So, um, and we'll take one more look at some of the other equipment here on, and as we're close up. So this is basically a very clean setup. This is outdoors. Um, I like everything else being indoors. Um, so we are good to go. Uh, and I will uh, give you a few more details on the insulation. I have this stuff sort of when it was in process uh, before the meter was here. Um, what they put out, out here to get ready for them and then the power company comes in and, and actually uh, 
sets the system to be uh, ready for use um, and for you to power it all up. So you have access to your system through the same app used for the phone. You slide around back and forth and you, you get to the power wall. So if you press power flow, you get this animation. Here is one view you can see where it's all uh, coming from the system going to my home. And then in another view I have coming up, this one you can see it's going both ways uh, back to the grid. So um, if you press performance, you get this uh, self-powered uh, graph. And you can also uh, just kind of slide over and you can see the solar. You can get that in a couple different ways. You can overlay graphs of various things, you know, like, you know, what's going to your home, what's coming f uh, from the grid, and uh, so forth. So, uh, pretty powerful. Um, you can have everything showing or just uh, solo things. Uh, it's kind of fun to play around with to see how you're doing during the day, anytime. Uh, you can go back in time. Uh, also, if you have a, a backup uh, situation, you can see the history of it. You can customize your settings for what you want for a backup reserve and some other things which I'll get into in another video. And speaking of another video, my next video I'm going to get into more detail of the installation. Here I've put together a very high speed uh, version of a portion of what I'm working on um, and I'm going to be giving some tips on things that you can do to prepare if you're thinking about doing this. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. I might have it done in time to get a link into this one. And uh, thank you again for watching. So if you subscribe, uh, you will definitely uh, get a, an alert if you set it up that way when that next video comes out. Just love the way this thing looks. Just can't say how thrilled again I am to have this. And they just did a great job. So if you're thinking of getting a uh, solar system or a car from Tesla, uh, feel free to uh, use my referral code. And thank you for all the people that have used it in the past. It's really great. I left some links to some of the products I use, the decals, etc. Uh, in the description and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section uh, happy to respond to anybody uh, that has any questions thank you